Raffi and I decided to call this Miracle Rice. All right, so I'm gonna start with the rice. So I got four cups of broth. All right, one cup of water. I just added three cups of Arborio short grain rice. Yeah, butter Inside. that because <laughs> if this thing doesn't come out at the end because you didn't butter it properly, oh, and we hello. have these things come out at the end. Don't worry. How about breadcrumbs? It's just going to be better. It'll unmold easier if you add the breadcrumbs to the butter. I know you don't like doing that and no, you don't no, do it. I don't mind doing it. In Italy, we don't use breadcrumbs. We use flour. But I know, it's but the think same about idea. unmolding the flour and then it's got like a raw flour flavor. This is, I think breadcrumbs are better. It's too much. Not much. No, guarda, si fa così. Okay. And then you shake it like this. See, you get all the excess off. You don't want it to you taste like put, breadcrumbs. You don't put breadcrumbs in cake. Where was I with the miracle rice? <laughs> I'm cooking the miracle rice right now. Very al dente. So what do I do now? These? No. Jeez, darling. So you're going to grate the scamorza, all of it. And then we're going to grate the parmesan cheese. <laughs> And then you're going to tear the taleggio. Okay. And we're going to put it in there, OK? And I'm going to do the garlic. I hope you got a lot of time, because you, um, this is Do you need this to loosen up your arms a bit? Yes. <laughs> a little sip mm. of wine? There. All right. Are you putting garlic in it? Yes. I'm not so sure about the garlic in it. OK. I'm trying to balance flavors and make it just divine. Yes, it's a it's holiday, Christmas, it's like a Christmassy. Big... Yeah, that's the time of the year that you want rich dishes. And this is one of them. And dishes that take this look several people to make. Look, yeah, it's look, gorgeous. Look. I know. That's why you're the cheese grater, because you do such a good job. If you didn't, I wouldn't make you do it. You can buy it. No, you can't. It. No, yeah. yes, and, you can. And you know what happens when you buy it grated? It's delicious. No, it's not. It does not melt properly. Uh, delicious. No, it's not delicious. Sorry, not That's happening. because you've got It's Christmas, break the cheese! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's the rest of this green onion. So one cup of scallions. This requires a lot of grating. <laughs> <laughs> this I'm taking home. OK, I'll save it for you. But in any event, you can put as many cheeses in here as you want. Yeah, but they have to be the right combo of cheeses. They have to Otherwise, be the sweet flavor's cheeses. Weird. Molto. Very good. Oh, wow, that's good telegio. And I like telegio because it has a bit of a salty kind of bite to it, but it's creamy, so it melts really well in there. OK. What about now? Because it's sucked up all the water and all the chicken broth. More? Look, I'll make you a deal. The minute I finish, mm -hmm. we can toss it in. Yes. OK. The secret here is to keep the rice really warm because yeah. the, it needs to melt the mm -hmm. cheese. Yeah. OK. OK, ready? Yes. Uh, yeah, get all those corners in there. So just one more little ingredient once you start turning it. It oh, smells delicious. Oh, we can add delicious. the cream. Three quarters of a cup. A little bit of salt. Here you see the Polish. Uh, roots of this dish and all the cream. Yeah, I know, right? And I'm also going to add a little bit of lemon. See? How yeah. about that? Yeah, there you go. I'm always in favor of a little lemon. Oh, that's so great. I wasn't sure how you would react to the lemon. OK, how's that? Beautiful. I think I got all of the lemon in there. OK. Baby, 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 yeah, yeah, I'm going, baby, I'm going, baby, I'm going, baby, I'm, going baby. I'm going, I'm going, I'm getting the pepper, I'm getting the pepper. I think you're good. OK. Look at how the cheese is completely melted. And OK, but now we got to put it in. <laughs> Don't go in the middle. <laughs> Don't go in the middle, Raph. Whatever you do, it's just going to end up on the counter. But we have to see if it stays together. OK. That looks gorge. So now we'll put it on the baking sheet, and we'll pop it in the oven, 425, for about 25 minutes. But instead of a cream sauce that has heavy cream and mascarpone, I just thought maybe a red sauce with a little bit of mascarpone put through it. In Italy, once we've made it Italian. Yeah, we put an Italian spin on it. Yes, absolutely. So about three cups. This is a now an Italian recipe, Raph. Now you can do whatever you want. Oh, you? lovely. Music to my ears. All right, so to the tomato puree, I'm going to add about half a cup of mascarpone cheese just to make it creamy. So we stay within the creamy tradition, but we make it 
a red sauce with a little bit of cream. Yeah, this is my festive dish to decorate the table. Yeah, it's your centerpiece. Okay, so now a shallot. I'm doing my thing, huh? Here, I do it the way I do oh, yeah, it at home. Oh yeah, you want me to turn on your pan for you? You're gonna saute these these peas. Are you put olive oil in there? Okay. Would you rather me put butter? No, no, olive oil, olive oil. All right, basil for me in the sauce, fresh basil. A little bit of the Parmigiana rind, the one that you love so much, Rafi. The one that I left over from grating? Yes. A little bit of salt. And? I just did the one side of the shallot. So this is gonna cook for a few minutes. The Parmigiana rind is gonna slowly like melt a little bit. See, it looks more like a, a creamy tomato sauce in, that, in the coloring. All right, so we're gonna let that go for a little bit. You're gonna saute the peas. Well, this should wait a little bit delicious. The peas are only like Nothing. five minutes total. The prosciutto gets draped on top, so I you feel know, like there's too much If you're doing it for them. Easter, you could put little Easter eggs around it or Christmas decorations. Okay. You do whatever you want. We just do peas because it's reminiscent of the sartu di riso. Yeah, and also because peas make it look pretty, it brightens it up, it's an easy decoration. It's all those things. The difficult part is the rice. The decoration, whatever. All right, is it enough pepper? I think so. Okay. I put a little salt, but we probably have to try it. This is melting and looking nice. That look good? Perfect. So the rice is about to come out of the oven. The trickiest thing about the whole recipe is unmolding it. All right, so it's cooled slightly. Nice. Yeah, that's an offset spatula. You use it to... Yeah, you don't want to forget to do that and then the whole thing stays in the... Yeah, but we did butter it really well, so it should be. E non ti dimenticare si, questa parte qui. Okay. Don't break it, Rafi. No, I think it looks Gentle. like it's detached. Okay, great. So now... Okay, I'm very nervous. Okay, don't be nervous. Go over there I'm and do not nervous. shake the plate before I'm I get over nervous. there. I'm very nervous. I think I can do it like this. Okay. Okay. One, two, and... No, no, not like that! No, no! <laughs> no, it's gotta be towards you. One, two, three. Well, so far, so good. It's hot. It's still warm. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, baby! Except for this little piece. That's we can eat it. Okay, we, we here, won't no, see we'll it. just spackle it back together. There! Looks great! Uh -huh. oh, it again. Bravo. Bravo, bravo. Mm, tastes good. Prosciutto cotto, which prosciutto is just cotto. ham. Wonderful Italian ham. But it's ham versus prosciutto, which is not cooked. It's the same part of the pig. It is. It's just cooked instead of... Okay. So we drape it over like a blanket. Come on, work. What are you, taking a rest? <laughs> okay. Well, you had it. You were, you were doing it so well, I don't know where to go. Come on, this is a very unique dish. Yes, it is. It's beautiful. We haven't So seen you don't want to, like, drape no, it? No, no. It's not supposed to be draped. It's supposed to be foderato. Go away. I'll do this part. You will do something with the peas. Okay, I'm just going to stir the sauce. It's just done. And the peas look done, but I can't get in there, so... Oh, that looks pretty. Okay. And then, of course, you can also, I suppose, do it with American ham, you know? Yeah, of course you can. You could do it with mortadella. So I suppose you could do it also for Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah, or... yeah, yeah, for sure. Pretty. Mm. Yeah, you need to. I need to. You, de you definitely need to. You're not going to cover this spot. We no. need to. So if you wanted to serve it without something around it, you may want to trim this, but... But we're gonna put the peas around it, right? Yes. So I think I need a spoon for the peas. Yes. And then you wanted to create like a little Christmas tree in My the God, is it pretty or what? And Boy, we gorgy. do some pretty amazing things it's today. It's gorgy! We make a good team. All right, so. Something like this? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. So this reminds me a little bit of like a 1950s well, it is. It's no. It's it's like no, 1800. You know, too much. That's a bit aggressive with the parsley. Well, let's try because uh, really the original recipe's got only parsley. Okay. So you don't want to put it. Well, I. I, I but we can. Do we it added up. rosemary and thyme because I thought maybe for Christmas the rosemary and thyme hey, are very. As far like... as I'm concerned, we can put a Christmas tree in here. Mm, okay. Well, we're not gonna put a Christmas tree in there, but yes. 
I think between the prosciutto cotto and the peas, it looks very Christmassy. It's our miracle rice. Okay, what do you think? Okay, but is it cute or what? It's so cute! Are you making fun of me? No, 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 I'm not making fun of you. I'm just thinking that I should want to pick it up and just look at it for a second. Oh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it looks gorgeous! Great. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. So this is the tomato sauce that goes with it. Now, the traditional tomato. sauce is mascarpone white cream mm. sauce, but we made it a little lighter. Mmm. So, Jada, I put the sauce to the side, over the top. Well, Rafi, what do you want to do? Whatever they want. It's really good. It is really good. It's so good.